What is consolidation therapy? So the point of consolidation is to consolidate the remission, keep remission going. And so consolidation can consist of two main treatment uh, modalities. One is additional chemotherapy, and another is a bone, uh, bone marrow transplant. And how do we decide who needs what? So it depends on the risk category of their AML. And that's based on the initial studies that are done on the initial bone marrow biopsy and the blood. And we're looking at how the cells look, their molecular and uh, chromosomal markers. And we know that certain abnormalities will predict more aggressive disease, high risk of relapse. And certain abnormalities will predict lower risk of relapse. And this is how we uh, will determine which category patients fit into. So if they're considered to be at high risk of relapse, we recommend a bone marrow transplant. If they're considered low risk of relapse, we'd recommend additional chemotherapy and no bone marrow transplant. And there is a good chance that they will maintain their remission without a bone marrow transplant. So consolidation therapy happens after somebody has gone through a successful induction therapy. So if you've gotten um, kind of that first round of therapy and you have gone into a remission afterwards, which generally means that um, we can't see the leukemia cells on the bone marrow anymore, and ideally that the blood counts have kind of come back to a good level, then we think about, okay, we've chopped those tops off those weeds and now we need to pull out the roots. And there are kind of two main ways that we go about doing that, one of which is by giving additional chemotherapy. Um, that specific chemotherapy that we would give kind of as an addition um, would usually happen over the course of several cycles, meaning we give it and then we um, watch the blood counts kind of go down and come back up like an induction. Um, usually not, that part doesn't take as long. And then we kind of do that again, kind of three or four times over the course of months. And that's kind of one type of consolidation. Um, for people who, um, who are um, kind of doing well in terms of being a, a fit person, kind of not having a lot of other issues with their heart or their lungs or their kidneys and those kind of things, and their leukemia might have um, some more mutations that predispose it to you know, relapse, um, meaning that people would kind of have their leukemia come back more after treatment. We, we like to um, try and use a more intensive therapy to try and really make sure that doesn't happen, and that's called a bone marrow transplant or hematopoietic stem cell transplant. And that process is where where we um, find the, the patient a donor, um, basically, where, where we can almost replace their immune system, which has this problem and that's caused the leukemia, with somebody else's immune system. Um, and that process basically does two things. Um, one of which allows us to give very high doses of chemotherapy, where we can really just, just take out somebody's immune system, more or less, with the chemotherapy, and then replace it with this other person's by just doing a, an IV of that person's blood cells, and they kind of go in and infuse to the right places. Um, but by giving that person's other immune system, you're not only replacing theirs and allowing us to give chemotherapy at high doses beforehand, but you're also allowing that new immune system to um, fight the leukemia that might be remaining after the additional chemotherapy. Um, and so you're kind of doing two things in one process by doing that, and um, it's a it's a complex process. It requires finding a person whose blood immune system matches the patients um, well enough that um, they won't have kind of too many reactions to it afterwards, but just different enough that that leukemia or that those cells can fight that person's leukemia. And so you're trying to find a, a, a kind of a sweet spot in there. And so, you know, the, the decision about that transplant, the second thing I talked about versus that regular consolidation ke chemotherapy that we talked about, those two things are a lot based on the risk of the patient's leukemia to be able to come back. Um, and then also based on um, uh, the mutations they have and kind of the risks of the transplant itself. So uh, during consolidation chemotherapy, we typically use, in the United States at least, we typically use one drug, which is cytarabine. Cytarabine is a uh, high-dose chemotherapy that's part of induction as well. You know, there are certain situations, like if you have a FLT3 mutation, you'll get cytarabine with an oral medication called mitostorin. Um, you might get cytarabine with another chemotherapy drug, but cytarabine, at least in the traditional treatment of acute myeloid leukemia, is the backbone of that treatment.